I came across this today on Block Club Chicago. A couple wants to turn an abandoned Englewood church into an art center, but they're running out of money and time. This comes to us from Atavia Reed. Plamen Yordanov and Yuliana Fogis bought the Love, Faith, and Praise Church of God in Christ three years ago to launch their own art foundation, but they've struggled to get funding for much-needed renovations. This is that space. Uh, Plamen Yordanov stands in the center of an abandoned church surrounded by wooden debris and broken pews. This dilapidated church at 6950 South Stewart Avenue is home to the Playman Art Foundation, an arts and culture hub Yordanov and his wife Iuliana Fogus dream of bringing to Englewood. The couple wants to transform the 114-year-old building into a place for live shows, exhibitions, and community art classes. Look at that space. Hmm. I love historical buildings and historical architecture. But the couple is facing a six-figure price tag just to make the first critical renovations and move forward with their plan. As money runs low and winter approaches without proper help, the couple said their Englewood dream might end before it fully begins. We would be happy to have our vision come alive, Focus said. Otherwise, it will be a loss for Englewood. It's our dream going down, but I think a place like this here would bring a lot to the community. Agreed. When Fogus saw the Englewood Church in 2018, she fell in love with it, she said. The love, faith, and praise Church of God in Christ was badly damaged in a fire in 2012. The building sat vacant for years. Windows were shattered, the roof had gaping holes, and old broken pews were left behind, Yordanov said. But something about the place was magical. I saw the interior, the windows, the balcony, and the stage, Fogus said. The space felt right. We felt like the church was meant for this. The couple inherited a roughly $108,000 mortgage and a nearly $50,000 water bill when they secured the rights to the church, they said. Despite the hefty cost, the artistic duo stayed hopeful, Yordanov said. We saw the potential, said Yordanov, a native of Bulgaria whose work has been exhibited globally. We saw space for exhibitions and art classes. We thought the stage would be, could be kept for concerts and lectures. I thought I could do a lot of what's needed, like restoring the stained windows, and during the process, we could get help and volunteers. Three years later, the couple has hit a wall, Yordanov said. Attempts to apply for grants and fellowships have been unsuccessful, Focus said. For the past few years, they've applied for the Neighborhood Opportunity Fund, a city award that finances projects on the south, southwest, and west sides, Focus said. All applications were denied. Isn't it interesting, Ed? Churches don't have to pay taxes. When you want to restore an old church property into, a neighbor, into an art center for the community, you can't even raise the goddamn money. With nothing left to invest, the couple said there, I know one's not related to the other, but I think you understand my point. With nothing left to invest, the couple said they're not sure what happens next. We put everything into what we have here, including our time, Yordanov said. We exhausted our resources. We cannot put more money into this. We're trying to make lemonade from lemons. With winter approaching, Yordanov is worried about what snow might do to the interior of the church, he said. In previous years, he's hung up tarps himself to block out the snow and rain, but after a few frightening slips, he's decided not to risk it this year, he said. The duo estimates they will need $500,000 to renovate the entire church, but $150,000 would be enough to secure the roof, Yordanov said. Once we complete the roof, then we can work more on the rest of the church. We won't be under so much pressure, and we can put our labor. Um, I work many hours, but this can't be done with one person. For now, Yordanov and Fogel said they will keep trying to find financial support. They plan to apply for another city grant this year. If that proves another dead end, they might be out of options. What keeps a sliver of their dream alive, Yordanov said, is how the foundation could contribute to a community that's built up its own vibrant art and cultural scene, hosting its first musical festival this month and regularly organizing public arts projects to instill pride in the neighborhood. The vision isn't a restaurant or housing, it's art. Imagine all the programs we could bring to this place. It's hard to give that up. Neighbors can support the Playman Art Foundation by donating to its GoFundMe here, linked in the chat, or linked in the show description, everybody. Look, I know times are tough. And they've only raised $2,040 out of the $150,000 goal that they're trying to reach. I know, it's a, I know it's a long shot, but geez, even 10 bucks among so many viewers could go a long way. I haven't, I haven't contributed yet because I just pulled up the story this evening and I'm, I plan to contribute to this. Um, it's for a good cause. I don't know these people. I just found this story. And as my friends would tell all of you, Jerry Vasilatos is pretty much the patron saint of lost causes. 
which is why the story touched me. And I hope maybe if everybody can donate, I don't know, 10 bucks to it, share this video. I'm going to subclip this into a segment also that can be easily shared uh, by itself for next week's uh, rotation. Maybe everybody pitching in can make some kind of a difference. The, the GoFundMe for their uh, for their campaign is, is linked below. Um, like I said, I don't know these people, but I really admire what they're trying to do. It's for a good cause. If you can afford to put something in, um, I hope you might. Yeah, I don't have much to add to that. Uh, <laughs> just, you it's know, my, it's my lost like, cause to, to, to try to help promote this week. <laughs> no, I'm 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 also uh, supportive of lost causes, uh, as I probably am one. Uh, but I we will, all are. <laughs> it's like but, the mission statement. I, uh, what we're doing know, here is to. I wish I wish them luck. Uh, I wish us all luck. I know we're all, a lot of us are struggling out here right now. Yeah. And um, I mean, at the very least, get, uh, see if we can help them get a tarp over that thing before the, the winter hits. At the very but, least, uh, uh, buy some I, time. I mean, uh, we we've gotten some rainstorms <laughs> in the past several months. I'm I'm hoping that they're they're getting through that. Uh, um, I, I can't imagine how bad it would be if if they weren't able to uh, to keep keep the rain out. 